Right. So, story time with Sam. Today we're going to be talking about the time I had uh, I had a um, a uh, EpiPen go through my thumb. It's not fun. So let's set the scene. Um, it was just a normal everyday summer's day. It might have been the weekend. I'm not even sure if it was summer or not. But we had gone into my garden to play football. Um, and I am I have asthma, which means sometimes when I play games uh, outside in cold air or just if I move about too much and I jump around and stuff, I get wheezy, which basically means that my lungs are sort of closing off so that I can't breathe. And my inhaler was in the house and it was in my my bag where I keep all my stuff, including the EpiPen. So basically, I needed my inhaler, which is the thing that's meant to prevent uh, this stuff from happening. So I take it and then my lungs will reopen. So Basically, uh, I was told to go into the house to go and get it. I did that very thing. So I went into my my bag. So I went into the house and I went into my bag. And in the bag was the EpiPen. And I didn't really know what it was at the time, even though I had used it, I'm pretty sure, many times before. And I didn't even get to use my inhaler. So it's not very good. So I got the EpiPen. If you don't know what an EpiPen is, it's a thing that if you have an allergy to stuff, you would take the cap off and stuff, and then you would jab it into your thigh and then count to 10. And it's basically just a needle. And it's meant to sort of, it's an adrenaline. It's meant to kind of like stop your allergic reaction for a short amount of time or just stop it completely so you're able to get to the hospital. So I saw that. And I didn't know what it was, so I took it out of his casing, and I looked at it for a bit. I ended up taking the cap off, so I, the needle was out. I wasn't able to see it, because you're meant to jab it into your leg, and it pops out then. So you're like, <coughs> jab it into your leg. Not like that, because that's, that's not how you're meant to do it. You're meant to hold it in for 10 seconds. And like you... So yeah, I took the cap off, and... Uh, so I was able to get the needle into me, and I was fidgeting around with it, and I put the my the joint of my thumb on to you know like where you bend your thumb. I put that onto the needle part, and I pushed it kind of, and the needle went right through the joint of my thumb, which was not fun. Um, and it's an adrenaline, so I wasn't actually meant to take it then. I mean, if it was if it, if it wasn't an adrenaline, you're not meant to just randomly stab a needle into you but yeah me being my maybe five or four year old self didn't think much of it and I had to go to the hospital and I actually have a journal sorry not a journal maybe a diary that I had to do for my school in primary two we had to do a diary thing and in my diary that weekend or something I that happened um, wasn't very good so I brought that in to school and in it was a picture of me on the hospital bed which was not fun it's just not that fun it really isn't but uh, yeah and so I was in the hospital for a while uh, with my finger bleeding with a giant needle through my thumb so that wasn't fun and I basically just had to get my to see if it was swelling or if it had hit a vein or something that would like I don't know like stop the blood circulation and maybe like I might have to amputate my thumb but I was lucky I've I've still got a thumb I, I could still play Fortnite yo gamers and stuff yeah yeah uh, Fortnite, dab, uh, floss, uh, da, boom, ba, jing, ga, boom, boom, jing, 
That's right. That's right. I'm the best. Um, so, yeah. That's basically the story of me going to the hospital because I stabbed myself. Yeah. I'm pretty stupid. I was a pretty stupid kid. Yeah, I was pretty stupid. I mean, I knew how to, how to swim, but I wasn't able to resist stabbing myself. I mean, I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident, luckily. So, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed. This was Storytime with Sam, and good night.